I'm sorry, Lily Rose Depp is going to suffer from the elements. She gets dysentery and dies. Hi, hello, how are you? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Carly. We're gonna be doing a real quick one today, just from the poisonous crevices of my mind. I've decided to just turn this channel into a social experiment of sorts in which I just capture the brain rot that I've been experiencing lately. Any chaotic fleeting thought that I should just let lie, I'm gonna subject you to, okay? What we're gonna do today is we're going to talk about which nepotism babies I would save in the apocalypse. This is a game I have devised in my beautiful twisted mind where we're gonna say that I'm in a spaceship of some sort. You know, there's a war going on, you know what I mean? A, like something has happened, whether it be the robots have taken over we are leaving planet Earth or I am saving their lives and, and taking them to the rebellion. You know what I mean? I have a ship or a car. I can't drive, but in this universe I can because the power of imagination is a beautiful thing. Through the use of our imagination, all things are possible. Okay? So in this universe, I didn't fail my driver's test by doing an illegal left-hand turn on red and then cried so much that my glasses fogged up and I had to pull the car over. In this universe I pass and I can drive, I can drive a spaceship and it can take these nepotism babies to safety. I love putting myself in a position of power. I think it's very chic, very cute. There's five seats. I have a list right here. Here's our A to Z of the Nepo babies ruling pop culture. I get to pick five of them to take in my car. The rest, sorry babes, you're on your own. Hi, I thought we'd just take a quick break from today's video and talk about this week's sponsor, Love and Pies. Love and Pies is a free to play merge two game. It can be played on your phone or tablet and the goal of the game is basically to create a thriving girl boss business. You renovate your cafe, serve customers, meet and engage with people in the town. You play this game as the main character Amelia Green who has moved to the countryside following a nasty divorce and you basically are renovating and starting up your own cafe. While you're doing this renovation and trying to restore this cafe to its former glory. You're also uncovering family secrets, old flames, mysteries. Oh baby. Love and Pies is releasing a brand new season live for all players from April 7th to May 7th. It's called The Lake Path and it has unique quests, plentiful milestone rewards, an exciting new storyline, and some gorgeous decorations. Instead of playing as Amelia, you play as Mayor May and you unlock the mystery of Appleton, the town's mysterious flooding. Everyone's a suspect because you're trying to uncover who is the culprit behind this suspicious sabotage. Cozy mystery, very fun. So you should definitely download the game and play The Lake pass. So if this seems like a fun time to you, I definitely recommend it. I love cozy games. I love the mystery aspect. It's not too high stress, but still incredibly entertaining. It's honestly a lot of fun. Go to the link in my description below and download Love and Pies. The Lake Pass is live from right now until May 7th, so hurry up and make the most of it. Thank you so much to Love and Pies and Trail Mix for sponsoring this video. Let's get back into it. First, we have Maude Apatow. She is the daughter of Judd Apatow, who is a comedy director. She's in Euphoria. She's on Little Shop of Horrors off Broadway right now. I'm a Maude fan. I have been since before she was an actress because I'm a comedy girly and I saw her in her dad's movies. Regardless of talent, I can't comment on that because I don't know that much about talent. I'm saying that now, I'm gonna call other people bad at their jobs apropos of nothing. Right now, Maud, you get to say, love a girly with a bob. I think she'd be good vibes. If, if things get tough, she might have to leave, but right now we're in a good spot. Now we have Haley Bieber. Haley Bieber's father is Alec Baldwin's brother. She's a model. She's married to Justin Bieber. You don't know who Haley Bieber is. Um, she seems to have had a horrible year. Her and Selena Gomez's feud. I don't care about it. I just don't care. I have no stake in the game. Imagine fighting over somebody as musty as Justin Bieber. Imagine. That being said, I'm not a Haley Bieber girly like everyone else. Sorry, you're on your own, girl. You're on your own. 
figure it out. Okay, now we have Brooklyn Beckham, David Beckham's son. Truly the nepotism baby of all nepotism babies in the fact that he is, I'm trying to think of a nice way to say talentless. Sorry to the Brooklyn Beckham stands out there. Also, everything about his relationship with Nicola Peltz, is that her name? His wife has been truly against my will. I, do, I don't care and yet I am bombarded with imagery of them as if it matters to me in any way. I don't care about him. I don't care about her. And yet every single fucking headline is like, relationship goals, they never sleep apart. And that's normal and good. Codependency is awesome and actually they're slaying the game. He's gone. The, the way he's gone. Okay, then we have Miss Emily in Paris herself, Lily Collins. Lily Collins is the daughter of drummer Phil Collins, which I didn't know. I do love the garbage fire of Emily in Paris. And also I will say the movie Stuck in Love that she's in with the Naked Brothers Band alumni, Nat Wolf, is really good. So we're gonna put her in the car right now. If someone I like better comes in, she's hitting the curb. But right now, just based on pure vibes, you're allowed. Okay, we have Lily Rose Depp, daughter of I'm thinking about whether or not I want to comment on him. <laughs> I've already been posted on way too many men's rights blogs. I feel like I'm one more hot take that a woman deserves rights away from being murdered in the street by a neck beard. So we're gonna take that back. She's a model, an actress. We're gonna put her in the car right now. I don't think she's surviving. I don't trust her in the elements. You know what I mean? Like Brooklyn Beckham will survive regardless. He's dumb, but he's gonna make a little hot. Lily Rose Duff is not surviving. We're gonna put her in the car right now. She might have to be kicked out. Okay, we have Kaya Gerber. I think Kaya Gerber is cool. She's supermodel Cindy Crawford's daughter. She's a Nepo model. I do think weirdly enough, and maybe I'm wrong, because I don't know if you can tell from the look I'm giving you right now. I don't know anything about modeling at all. I am five foot two and I have a loud personality. Like I was not invited into the modeling world in any way, but it feels like to me, models and athletes are the two nepotism kids that like, it's really hard to apply nepotism. Maybe I'm wrong, but I'm like, if you're an athlete, it doesn't matter if you're Shaquille O'Neal's son, you have to be a good athlete. And if you're a model, and again, maybe I'm wrong, I don't know, but I'm like, if you're a model, you have to be beautiful. She has a great book club. I mean, her favorite book is a little life, which is the reddest flag of all red flags. Like, am I about to say the hard pill to swallow on the internet, the hard truth that a little life is trauma porn written by a straight woman about queer men. And it's also just bad. It's a bad book. And I don't know why we're, we like it. I'm not saying I have good taste. That book, so mad at that book. Do we put Kaya in the car? I feel like we can't have Kaya and Lily Rose. No, sorry, Kaya. I have to kick you to the curb for little life reasons only, and that's enough. Okay, this is a man named Mason Gooding. He is the son of Cuba Gooding Jr. I don't know who he is. Well, he's not coming. Sorry, I don't know who you are. Okay, now we have Maya Hawk, Uma Thurman, and Ethan Hawk's daughter. She is in Stranger Things. She makes music. We're putting, for sure, we're keeping Maya Hawk. I'm saving Maya Hawk, and I don't think Maya Hawk is getting kicked to the curb. I mean, the acting choice is made in do revenge were were swings but i find her music to be good I, I find her acting to be good i find her choices to be really good i also think she's been pretty forward about being like my nepotism is why i've booked all these roles i'm just trying to do a good job she also got into juilliard so she's training the girlie is training and i think she'd be a good vibe okay now we have dakota johnson her grandmother is literally tippy hedron from the birds the alfred hitchcock movie look it up you know her from 50 shades of gray or from slaughtering ellen degeneres metaphorically curb stomping her by saying actually ellen that's not true. Actually, no, that's not the truth, Ellen. You were invited. <gasps> she's actually going in the car, and I don't think she's coming out. You also might know her from her iconic AD House tour in which she said she loved limes, and that was just improv, yes anding on the spot. Okay, we have Zoe Kravitz. Oh no, now it's getting hard. <laughs> obviously the daughter of Lenny Kravitz. She's Catwoman. Well, I know her from the reboot of High Fidelity starring her on Amazon Prime. That is the best fucking show ever created. She's so cool. She's in every single one of my Pinterest boards of, of style. She's got the best style in the entire world. She's the most gorgeous woman alive. Okay, who are we kicking out? Okay, sorry, Lily Rose Depp, you're gone. I gotta make room for Zoe Kravitz. I've gotta make room for Zoe Kravitz and therefore obviously I'm sorry, Lily Rose Depp is going to suffer from the elements. She gets dysentery and dies. I'm sorry for that, but it has to happen. Okay, now there's a man called Rafferty Law, Jude Law's son. Never seen this man before in my life. Tell me you've seen this man, because you're fucking lying. He could walk by me. I've never seen that man before in my fucking life. He's dying. Oh no. This is Billy Lord. Billy Lord is my favorite nepotism baby of all time. I think she's an amazing comedic actress. I think she stays in her lane. You might know her from Ryan Murphy's Scream Queens, where she plays Chanel number three. She's such a funny, funny actress. And I also want her to kiss me on the mouth. <laughs> she's also an American Horror Story. She was in that new George Clooney 
Julia Roberts rom-com and she was so fucking good. That movie was made my rom-com dreams truly come true. I enjoyed every living moment of it. Put Caitlyn Deaver in everything. I love her. I love Billy Lord. She is the daughter of Carrie Fisher. I love Carrie Fisher so much. Oh, I love Billy Lord. Okay, so who are we kicking out of this car? Lily Collins? Miss Emily in Paris. I'm so sorry. You know, maybe Lily Collins will survive. Maybe it'll be like a Mad Max thing and she'll kind of start a revolution. Hopefully she doesn't die from exposure to the elements, from dehydration. We we don't know. Sorry. Bye, Lily. Billy? Get fucking in, bitch. Okay, now we have Apple Martin, Gwyneth Paltrow, and Coldplay's Chris Martin's daughter. No, no I'm sorry. It's nothing against her. I, I'm sure she's a very nice... Girl, I don't, I don't know anything about her besides the fact that her name is Apple, which is actually a sick fucking name. Sorry, she's giving me like the a thousand yard stare right now. It feels like her eyes are following me. Uh, feels insane sometimes saying this out loud. Like I'm not killing her on purpose. It's just like, she has to go. Sorry, she's like looking into my eyes and stealing my fucking soul. She has to go. She has to go. I'm sorry, Apple. Okay, now we have Jack Quaid, Dennis Quaid's son. He's from The Boys, the Amazon show. Oh, and he's Meg Ryan's son, and I do love, here's the thing, I love Meg Ryan. Any Nora Ephron rom-com, mainline that shit into my veins. You know what I mean? That's my, that's my heroine. Like, here's the thing. Am I gonna kick any of these beautiful women out for Jack Quaid? No, and I think he'd understand. I think he would see that car and go, I get it. I get it, you know? Who the fuck is this? This is Wyatt Russell. He's the son of Goldie Hawn and Kurt Russell. No. Okay, he was apparently in Under the Banner of Heaven, and I hope to God that beard is an acting choice. You're not taking that facial hair into my hot girl car. Okay, the Scars Guards, sorry. They look really scary. I do love the Scars Guards in general. I don't know who their parents are. Oh, Stellan Scars Guard. I do appreciate a actor who's like, oh, I'm gonna be monsters and villains entirely. I do like that choice. I support that choice wholeheartedly. Being like, yes, I'm a nepotism baby. I can probably try and get in projects that my parents fund where I play the lead role, even if I'm horribly miscast. Ben Platt, looking at you. I'm just mad at Ben Platt because I think he's incredibly talented and him in the politician as a anti-hero comedic villain is everything I want. I don't want Dear Evan Hansen in the movie. I want you to do comedy roles. You're very funny, Ben Platt. You're funny. Let me do your career. I do like that the Scars Guards all are like, we're going to play monsters in movies, but still, again, obviously Jaden and Willow Smith are the children of Jada and Will Smith. Like, here's the thing. Do I kick Maude Apatow out for Willow Smith? I might have to do that. Queen of, I whip my hair back and forth. I'm so sorry, Maude. I love you genuinely. And if you're watching this video, I love you and I support you and you're my, you're my queen. But like somebody has to run the ox. <laughs> Somebody's got to run the playlists in my post-apocalyptic rescue vehicle. And I think Willow would do a good job at that. Okay. The last one is John David Washington. Oh no. Oh, he's really good. He is the son of Dave, of David Washington. Jesus. Denzel Washington, the famous actor. And he's really fucking good. He was the main character in the Black Klansman, the movie about a cop who goes undercover into the KKK. He's really good. Do I save him? Who do I kick out? I got my girlies here. But I love him. Okay, you know what? I know I said I would only have five. John David Washington rides on the roof. He can be on the roof. So my final post-apocalyptic rescue machine to save the Nepo babies is as follows. So write this down. We have Willow Smith running the ox, Billy Lord as my future wife, Zoe Kravitz, Maya Hawk for vibes, and Dakota Johnson for protection. She's the muscle. And then we'll have John David Washington. He can ride on the roof because I think he's a very talented actor. Hopefully this video made I don't think it made any sense. I just wanted to give you guys a little, a little treat, a little treat of insanity in these troubled times we're living in. Thank you so much for watching. My Instagram and all that fun stuff will be in the description below. I'll see you soon. Bye.